A seven-year-old girl at Miller Elementary in, uh, in Santa Maria almost lost two of her fingertips after an accident on campus. As KSBY's Melissa Newman explains, the parents are now asking for an apology from a staff member and are considering a lawsuit. She joins us live now from Santa Maria. Richard, the girl's mom says she wants justice after her seven year old daughter's fingers were caught in this office door you could see here behind me. Now the family claims a staff member is responsible for the injury, but the school says it was an accident. We have to warn you some of the photos you're about to see are very graphic. When Santa Maria mom Tanisha Gonzalez came to pick up her children from the front office of Miller Elementary School last Thursday, she says she never would have guessed what would happen next. My oldest daughter slams the door open and she's yelling and she's just so upset and distressed. And like, I've never seen my daughter look like that. And she's like, mom, they cut Zalisa's fingers off. Gonzalez says her seven year old daughter's fingers were closed in the front office door, nearly severing two of them. One of the fingers is expected to be OK. The other is still uncertain. The surgeon said that her fingertips were dangling by one blood vessel, which is the blood, the one blood vessel that we're counting on to bring the blood supply back to this tip to attempt to save it. Gonzalez claims a front office staff member closed the door on her daughter's hand and should be held accountable. Her bad decision cost my daughter two fingertips. However, the school district says it was an accident. District leaders sent us a statement which reads in part, Miller School places a high priority on student safety and assures parents in the community that this isolated incident was an unfortunate accident. Both the district and the school are working with the student's family to make sure she recovers fully and will assist the family through the process of filing a medical expense claim with the district's insurance provider. Got your nose. <laughs> now seven-year-old Zaliciana is recovering. She's the one that's waking up at, at night in pain. She's the one that's waking up crying because she's scared her fingertips are going to fall off. The little girl's mom tells me she hasn't returned back to school after her injuries because she keeps having reoccurring nightmares about what happened and fears something like this will happen again. Live in Santa Maria, Melissa Newman, KSBY News. All right, Melissa, we've reached out to the school district to see how many medical claims that they've had filed at Miller Elementary in the last year and if they've taken any steps to prevent this from happening again. They declined to answer our question.